Makaya Hales, and um, Lane Nausicaa. Oh my gosh, guess what happened to me the other day. So before I tell you anything, let me give you a little background history on how my kingdom came to be. So you know how my dad, Alcinus, is the king of Phaeacia and everything? Well, get this. Before my family ruled over Phaeacia, yeah, I know. Crazy. Oh, okay. My family didn't always. Oh. My family didn't always rule over Phaeacia. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Turns out my dad's old man, Nausithus, name sounds familiar, huh? <laughs> well, he ruled over our people in the plains of Hyperia. And if I'm telling the story right, they live pretty close to the Cyclopians. So, long story short, my grandfather led the people to the land that we live on today. Shortly after, he passed away, but then my dad got to rule, and here we are, present day. Sorry about the history lesson, but let's talk about a more interesting topic. Me. I'm the princess of Phaeacia. Wait, you already know the basics. I'm the princess of Phaeacia, the daughter of Alcinous and Aridi. But did you know that people refer to me as beautiful and tall? They also compare me to the... They also compare me to Artemis the gorgeous daughter of Zeus and the goddess of hunt, wilderness, and childbirth. Oh wait, I'm getting off topic. I'm supposed to be telling you a story. So it all started when I had this really weird dream. I was sleeping in my chamber. Here, let me just show you. <laughs> okay, so all of a sudden, I saw my friend Diamond. So, Dee Dee was like, Girl, do you want a man or not? You are so freaking lazy. There's hella laundry sitting around your house. <laughs> Tomorrow, go and ask your dad to give you a wagon and go wash your clothes. You're too cute to be walking anyway. <laughs> okay, so maybe I added that last part in. <laughs> when I woke up the next day, I asked my dad, and of course he said yes. He never tells me no. The last time he did, I ran away from home. Line. So when he gave me? Oh, so when he gave me the wagon, me and my mate set off. We started out okay. doing the laundry. Then when we finished, we decided to take baths and throw a ball around a little bit until our clothes had dry. I threw the ball to one of my maids, <laughs> <laughs> and she missed. <laughs> <laughs> the ball fell into the bushes, and out came Odysseus, but I didn't notice at the time. He was butt-ass naked. <laughs> Line. He walked up. Oh, he walked up to me and my maids. All of them ran away, but I'm not a coward. He asked if we could get, he asked if we could help him get into town and get him some clothes. At first, at first, I didn't think he was that attractive, but then when he walked away and started to get dressed, I suddenly thought he was cute as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I took him to my dad's house, I realized he would cause a bit in a, of an uproar with the townspeople. So I gave him directions and I told him to go to my mom and be like really nice to her because she loved that kind of stuff. And then my parents will give him all the things that he needs to make it home. If I'm being 100% honest, I think that I'm the reason we did get made at home. Like, if I wouldn't have had that dream about washing clothes, then I never would have found Odysseus, and he never would have made it home. So I'm just like wondering where my credit is at. <laughs> but it's all good, as long as he made it home some kind of way. I wonder how he feels about me, though. Well, I know that he thinks I'm beautiful. He also referred to me as Artemis. Well, I know that he's respectful. He called me a queen when I'm just a princess. And, line? And instead of. Oh, and instead of telling me what to do, he asked me. <sighs> what a gentleman. 